Hi and welcome back, it's Dave here and in this um, article I want to take you through a how-to really on how to customize your themes. Now in this instance I'm using the WordPress 2012 theme which is the new theme and in this particular uh, video I'm just going to show you how to customize the header part of the theme. Uh, I'll do a series of these videos on customizing the theme and because there's so many areas of customization within a theme uh, it would take me a long time to get that covered all in one issue so in this first uh, first uh, article um, I'm going to cover how to basically customize the header part of your theme so again just to clarify that um, the header part of the page is this section up here okay so that's the section that we're going to be modifying so the way to do that you can come down here into appearance and well, there's actually two ways I'll go to here first customize your site and with this particular theme it gives you the option here to change the site title so if I wanted to change that you'll see at the top here it's actually it's changing as I'm as I'm uh, actually editing the text so you can see that appear there pretty straightforward you can also go in here and change the the tagline so as you see as you type it um, I'll just make something here, let's call it everything WordPress. Okay, so that's how you can change that particular text there. Pretty simple stuff. You can also choose whether to, to, to actually display the text header text or not. Gee, I'm stuttering my words here. Um, so you can select that and it will actually make that whole part disappear. Um, which is what I'm going to do in this case. I'm going to leave that with that not appearing because what I'm going to do is put a header image up there. Uh, you can also select your background color um, and you can see that change as you go. Um, so if you like a black background, you go there, depending on what colors you want. You've got the whole gamut of color range here, so you can really do some funky funky styles there. This code up here you'll notice that that's changing. Um, if you just have a look around here, uh, that's the actual that's actually referred to as hexadecimal and that is in relation to the um, the color. So you'll notice they're using a series of numbers to represent specific color. If you were editing your CSS file which is your um, your style sheet, uh, you would enter that code. You wouldn't enter the actual color, but you would enter the code that relates to that color. And I'll show you that too, you know, in a little bit later on. But for now, I'll just clear that off. Um, and I'll just go back to a pretty nice basic gray background there. And I'm happy with that there. All right. Uh, background image. You can put a background image in if you like. Um, again, no image. You can drop images here. So from a file, you can, or you can actually go in and select an image and upload that, and that will uh, appear in the background. Um, then you can. This is only for selecting a static home page if you want to have a static home page. Um, so that's pretty much how. That's the control you have in this section here, really, for the header. So I'll save and publish that, and I'll close out of that. And if I just refresh this here, we should see that there's no header at the top there, just the menu bar. So what I want to do is go in and I want to add a custom header image. So the way to do that is you go down to the Appearance tab here, and if you go down to where it says header, just click on that. 
Now it'll give you a suggested width of the header image. You can choose something smaller if you like. Um, you just need to, you know, work out uh, the design and what sections, you know, whether you want that to float left. If it's a smaller image, you could have that floating left, and it would fill up, and the, to the right of it would be empty. Um, you may want to upload something even smaller. It depends on the. It also depends on the theme you're using as well. But for simplicity. I'm just going to upload an image and I'm going to go in here and let's have a look. I've got some templates down here and let's have a look. I'm sure I've popped one in here. Let's open that one up and I'll just upload that. So this is an image that I just created in WordPress and it meets the criteria so I've just uh, uploaded that there you can crop this image too if you like you can do all sorts of stuff here it's a pretty cool feature but I want it to be the full the full image so I'm going to skip cropping and publish the image as it is uh, you'll notice here you've got now the uploaded image displays there you can see it there pretty straightforward uh, you can remove the image by clicking this. You can also show header text if you wish. But that, you know, say for example you had an image here but you didn't have a logo, um, you can type in the header text and show that there by um, allowing that to be clicked. I'm disabling that. So currently I'm happy with the way that looks and I'm just going to save the changes there and I'll pop back over into the live site and I'll refresh that. Now you'll notice that the header graphic has appeared under there. Now I can change it so that it would appear above if I wish or I can leave it down below but I actually want it to go above. I don't like it appearing at the bottom there because it's called a header image so what I want to do is change I'm gonna to have to change some code as to where that's displayed and I'll go in there and show you what I mean by that so if I go down to the editor part here click editor and I go over to the header PHP so that's this um, this link here okay just over on the right I'm going to click that and it's not a very big document it looks all confusing and pretty straight you know pretty scary if you're not a developer but what I want to do is look for the bit that says the header image so it's calling for get header image and you notice just above here it's calling it this is where the, the nav menu is as well okay so what I want to do is I want my site navigation to appear below there. So the way I can do that is take this here. Okay. I can cut that. And I'm just going to put a couple of enter tags in here and paste that in there like that. Okay. So you notice what I've got here now is the header image up here and the nav down there. I'm just going to save that and have a look at um, how that looks. Um, let's go up here. I'm pretty happy with that. That looks pretty right. Oh, okay reason I can't do it, I've got to just make it writable. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just quickly go and do that. I'll just pause quickly. I haven't got that file so it's writable. Just excuse me for one moment. I'm doing this in real time guys. Okay, I take two. I just updated the permissions on the on the file. So now I've got the update option there. So let me do that again. Let me just... By the way, if you're 
this this only happened to me because I'm using a local install and I didn't already set those permissions. If you're using a normal web host um, like HostGuardy, your permissions should be fine, should automatically be there for those files. Um, but if not, you can just get support from the hosting provider and they can sh they can apply those permissions for you. Anyway, back to where I was. So I've taken the header bit there. I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to put it above the menu here and I'll paste it in there. I'll just edit, un edit undo. What did I do there? I think I grabbed the wrong bit. No. Yep, I got the right bit. And if Yep, that's what I want. So, what I'm going to do is copy that. And I'm going to paste it. Um, and then I better delete that because I don't want that to appear twice. Oops, don't do that. And then if I hit update file, it will save that file. And I'll just close all this off. Now I should be able to view that now. And hopefully it's all working. So there you have it. So now I have the header above the navigation there. Um, and you'll notice that the navigation is quite close to that header there. Um, again, you can change that. If I wanted to, I could put a, I think I can add a break tag in here. Let me just update that. See if that works. No, it won't. So that's fine. What I have to do is adjust that in the CSS. And the way to do that I'll show you in the next video.